Recently, I started sending out cold emails for some research I'm doing and I got this. Your email was marked as auto-generated, which means it was automatically created by a computer instead of being typed by a human. We can't accept these kind of emails. If you believe this is an error, contact a staff member. This isn't Gmail or Outlook. This isn't some email service provider catching on to my cold email. This recipient, the person I sent the email to, has some kind of software in-house to catch cold emails. Meaning they get so many cold emails that they decided to invest into filtering them out with some kind of automation. And this got me thinking. Cold emails and cold outreach in general has always been a cat and mouse type of game. It started off with people just sending good old manually written cold messages, sending them out one by one. Then someone decided to mass produce them and blast emails. People got smart and started automating. Apps like Gmass were born to help you send out hundreds of emails. Everyone started doing it so it stopped working. You now had to personalize the emails to creep around spam filters. So custom variables were used more and more. First name, company name, location, time and date. Eventually that wasn't good enough anymore. People blast more and more emails so more of them go to spam. And if they don't, the emails are ignored because all of them look the same. So Spintax was introduced to change up how each email looks to each recipient. Every day this race keeps getting faster and faster. People try to do something new for better results. They find a new strategy, everyone jumps on it, exhausted, and then everyone goes looking for a new strategy. This cat and mouse game that never really ends. Constant improvement. Sometimes even going in circles, coming back to older methods that worked, just to exhaust them again. And same happened with proper personalization. Custom variables weren't enough, people started personalizing first sentences. Once all of them looked the same, identical compliments, then icebreakers stopped working. Smart people started sending out looms, automating hundreds of them so they appear personalized with little to no work. What I'm trying to say is that you can never finish or complete cold outreach. You cannot get to a point where you're like, okay, I'm done. There's nothing to improve. It always keeps evolving and adapting. It's a never ending game, chasing something new. Sometimes even relying on unethical tactics just to get in front of people to sell them something. And I'm not blaming anyone, I've been through it all, I went through this myself. I started out as a rookie sending terrible, terrible emails, thousands of personalized images with my face, company logo and some text. Sending out videos, templated emails, personalized emails, voice messages, I did it all. But eventually what got me the best results was coming back to the roots. Good old manually written cold outreach. Where the subject line isn't actually a quick question, but something actually relevant to the email. No need to chase the new craze, search new subject line ideas or templates or hacks. Nothing. No more race to stand out. The goal changed. Simple and relevant emails win. Your goal shouldn't be to break patterns or to stand out. Your goal is to write the best email possible for your recipient. Not what looks best for you or what makes your product shine, but what makes your email good for your prospect. Is your email even relevant to them? Is there any benefit? No? Well, you won't get a reply. And the best way to ensure you get a reply is by writing relevant and personal emails. You can do that manually or with Salesforce AI that isn't just a silly compliment generator. You choose.